हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू जे के टुडे दिस इज नुजहत सना एंड इन टुडे सेशन वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट करंट अफेयर्स फॉर ट्वेंटी ऑफ सेप्टेम्बर ट्वेंटी ऑन स्क्रीन यू कैन सी सम इम्पॉर्टेंट की वर्ड्स दैट वी वुड बी डिस्कसिंग इन टुडे सेशन फॉर एग्जाम्पल विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द थीम फॉर इंडिया वाटर वीक ट्वेंटी देन वी विल सी सुभद्रा स्कीम then uh, we'll talk about tutikorin international container terminal then we will see further that who is the director general of sashastra seema bal now after that we'll see the location of anamalai tiger reserve smart precision horticulture program ozone and uv bulletin and at last we'll discuss the top gun cup okay so now without uh, taking any further time let's get started the very first question is what is the theme of 8th india water week 2024 the correct answer here is c option partnership and cooperation for inclusive water development and management okay so basically president draupadi murmu has inaugurated the 8th india water week on 17th of september in new delhi and the event runs from 17th to 20th of september 2024 at bharat mandapam in new delhi where the union jal shakti minister gajendra singh shekhawat was also present okay so india water uh, week is based on stockholm water week and it focuses on water management and cooperation the international wash conference 2024 is also taking place alongside the event and the theme is partnership and cooperation for inclusive water development and management fine now let's see some important facts first of all uh, which indian state is dropadi murmu originally from so she is from odisha right and before becoming president she served as the governor of which indian state she was the governor of jharkhand state right and now if you talk about india water week in which year was the first india water week held answer is 2012 which indian ministry organizes uh, this week this is ministry of jal shakti okay which organization initiates the stockholm world, world water week it is the siwi means stockholm international water institute okay and which city host the stockholm world water week annually obviously it is stockholm okay this event basically focuses on the global water issues and uh, If you talk about the International Wash Conference 2024 what does the acronym wash stand for in the context of international conferences so it stands for water sanitation and hygiene and which united nation body is primarily responsible for global wash initiatives this is the unicef fine moving to question number 2 subhadra scheme recently seen in the news is the largest women centric scheme of which indian state the correct answer is b option odisha Prime Minister Narendra Modi launched Odisha Subhadra Yojana on his 74th birthday alongside some railway and highway projects. Subhadra Yojana aims to empower the women, offering them 50,000 rupees for over 5 years to all the eligible women who are aged between 21 to 60 years. Over 1 crore women will benefit with 1,000 to 50 crore rupees transferred to 25 lakh women. Also he inaugurated railway and highway projects worth 2,800 crore and 1,000 crore rupees respectively prime minister modi also launched the awas plus 2024 application and some new guidelines for prime minister awas yojana okay so badra scheme is the largest women centric scheme of odisha state now let's see uh, subhadra yojana what questions can be asked regarding this scheme which indian state is associated with this yojana obviously answer is odisha and what is the age range of women beneficiaries under this scheme so this is 21 to 60 years and how much financial help is provided per eligible woman under this yojana this amount is 50000 rupees now talking about the prime minister awas yojana when was the prime minister awas yojana launched it was launched in 2015 and uh, what was the primary target to achieve the housing for all global under this yojana this was the year 2022 okay basic aim was to achieve the housing for all goal in the year 2022 and this yojana was launched in 2015 fine now what is the capital city of odisha this is bhubaneswar and which unesco world heritage site is located in odisha it is very famous konark sun temple fine moving to question number 3 recently the prime minister of india inaugurated the tutikorin international container terminal in which indian state the correct answer is c option tamil nadu Tutti Korin International Container Terminal in Tamil Nadu was inaugurated and it has been described as a key part of India's marine infrastructure. This terminal actually enhances the capacity of the VO Chidambaranar port which contributes to India's goal of becoming a developed nation, right? And uh, 
it has a deep draft of over 14 meters and a 300 meters long berth as well it helps to reduce the logistic cost and it all I would, and it would also save the foreign exchanges so terminal promotes gender diversity as well with 40 percent of its workforce being the woman fine tamil nadu plays a vital role in india's economic growth with significant investment in uh, port development including an outer harbor container terminal as well the port is further recognized for its role in green hydrogen and offshore wind energy india's vast transportation network positions it as a key player in the global supply chain right so prime minister of india mr narendra modi has inaugurated the tutikorin international container terminal in the state of tamil nadu let's see some important static facts regarding this question first of all which country provided the design framework for the tutikorin international container terminal this is the country singapore okay and if you talk about tamil nadu which is the traditional classical dance form that originated from tamil nadu it is the bharatnatyam and which famous temple complex in Tamil Nadu was declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site? It is the Bhideswar Temple. Fine. Now, if we talk about a green hydrogen, uh, which European country leads in terms of green hydrogen production? It is the country Germany. And what is the first country or which is the first country to install an offshore wind farm? This is the uh, Denmark. Okay. Also, which natural resource is essential for generating the green hydrogen through electrolysis? This is water. Fine. Moving to question number four, recently who has been appointed as the Director General in Sashas Trasima Bal SSB? The correct answer is C option, Mr. Amrit Mohan Prasad. Okay. So a senior IPS officer from Odisha cadre, Mr. Amrit Mohan has been appointed as the DG of Sashas Trasima Bal. Currently he is serving as a Special Director General of the CRPF main central reserve police force his appoint his appointment is approved until his super annotation on 31st of august 2025 such as the sima bal actually guards india's borders with nepal and the bhutan countries preventing the cross border crime and smuggling also its headquarters lies in new delhi and it is led by a director general so director general is supported by an additional director general and various directorates who are managed by the senior officers fine so who has been appointed as the new director general in Sashastra Sima Bal. This is Mr. Amrit Mohan Prasad. Fine. Now, which year marked the inception of the Indian Police Service? This is 1948. In which year was the CRPF founded? It was founded in 1939. What is the primary role of CRPF? Primary role is internal security and crowd control. And Sashastra Sima Bal was established in the year 1963. What does Sashastra Sima Bal primarily guard? So it, it basically uh, protects India's borders with Nepal and Bhutan. Fine. Now, which other force along with SSB manages India's border security? These are the BSF border security force, right? Moving to the next question. Anamalai Tiger Reserve recently seen in the news is located in which Indian state? So this tiger reserve lies in the state of Tamil Nadu. Why it came into news? Because the Tamil Nadu Forest Department has recently decided to fit a tracking device on a Nilgiri Thar in Anamalai Tiger Reserve for the purpose of research. Okay, that's why it came into news. The reserve is located on the Anamalai Hills in Tamil Nadu, which is south of the Palakkad Gap in the southern western Ghat. Also, it is bordered by Parambikulam Tiger Reserve, Chinnar Wildlife Sanctuary and Irabikulam National Park. So, this area has diverse habitats including evergreen, deciduous, thorn forest and grassland as well. It has around 2500 uh, plant species including the wild relatives of mango, jackfruit, turmeric and pepper. Fine. So, what is the location of Anamalai Tiger Reserve? Uh, location is Tamil Nadu. It lies in Tamil Nadu. Now, if you talk about the Nilgiri Thar, what is the IUCN classification of this species? So, they lie in endangered category of IUCN red list. Fine. And uh, if you talk about the Western Ghats, this UNESCO status is granted to the Western Ghat. It is a World Heritage Site. And how many states in India does the Western Ghat span? So, Western Ghat is extended in, in total six states, which are these six states Gujarat, Maharashtra, Goa, Karnataka, Kerala, and Tamil Nadu. Now, talking about the Parambikulam Tiger Reserve, which river flows through the Parambikulam Tiger Reserve? Answer is Parambikulam River. And it uh, this reserve is located in which two Indian state? It lies in uh, Kerala as well as in Tamil Nadu. Okay. And when was the Parambikulam Wildlife Sanctuary declared a tiger reserve? Answer is 2010. Moving to question number six. Recently, the Ministry of Agriculture is planning to launch the Smart Precision Horticulture Program under which scheme? This is a scheme of MIDH, Mission for Integrated Development of Horticulture. Okay. 
So Union Agriculture Ministry plans to launch a smart precision horticulture program under this mission. The program will use the technologies like Internet of Things, Artificial Intelligence, Drones and Data Analytics to boost the production while reducing the environmental impact. Also, it will cover 15,000 acres of land in over th the next five years, benefiting around 60,000 farmers. It would run from 2024 to 25 up to 2028 to 29. So, AIF means Agriculture Infrastructure Fund provides the financing for a smart and precision agriculture project. The government is exploring the collaboration with the two countries, Netherlands and the Israel for modern farming solutions, 22 precision farming development centers have been set up for testing and adapting the new technologies. Okay, So, Ministry of Agriculture is planning to launch the Smart Precision Horticulture Program under MIDH Mission for Integrated Development of Horticulture. Okay, Now, there is no static fact regarding this question. Moving to the next one. Recently, which organization has released ozone and UV bulletin? The correct answer is A option, World Meteorological Organization. World Meteorological Organization has released the second edition of the Ozone and UV Bulletin on the occasion of the World Ozone Day, which is celebrated every year on 16th of September. This day celebrates the Montreal Protocol and its amendment, which is the Kigali Agreement. And this year, the theme for uh, World Ozone Day is Montreal Protocol advancing the climate actions. And key findings show that ozone layer is recovering with ozone depleting substances decreasing. The full recovery is expected by the end of 2066 over Antarctica, 2045 over the Arctic and 2040 globally. So the Kigali Amendment could reduce the global warming by 0.5 degrees centigrade by 2100. And ozone depletion is mainly caused by ODS, especially in the Antarctic. Fine. So, you have to remember that ozone and UV bulletin has been released by the World Meteorological Organization. Now, in which year was this body established? It was established in 1950. Headquarters of a WMO lie in Geneva, Switzerland. Fine. And WMO replaced which international organization? It has replaced International Meteorological Organization. Talking about the Montreal Protocol, when was this protocol signed? It was signed in 1987 and the Montreal Protocol primarily aimed to phase out which substances? These are the chlorofluorocarbons. And which country was the first to ratify the Montreal Protocol? This was the US. And if we talk about its amendment, that is Kigali Agreement, when was the Kigali Amendment adopted? It was adopted in 2016 and the Kigali Amendment targets the phase down of which group of chemicals these are the hydrofluorocarbons okay now what substances are primarily responsible for ozone depletion these are the ozone depleting substances and what is the main function of ozone layer main function is to absorb the majority of the sun's harmful uv radiation okay moving to question number eight recently which indian shooter won the gold medal in the men's 10 meters air pistol event at the top gun cup the correct answer here is a option mr anmol jan okay India's top pistol shooter Anmol Jain won the gold medal in the men's 10 meters air pistol uh, event at the prestigious Top Gun Cup, which was held at the Top Gun Shooting Academy in Gurugram City. Okay. Also, in the men's 10 meters air rifle event, American sh shooter Jeff Browning took the gold. This was a two-day competition which showcased a top shooting talent. Uh, I'm talking about Anmol Jain. He's a former national champion and ISSF uh, World Cup medalist as well. And he praised the event for its high standards and competitive spirit. Okay, so Mr. Anmol Jain has won the gold medal in the men's 10 meters air pistol event at the Top Gun Cup. What year was the first ISSF World Cup held? It was held in 1986. And which city hosted the first ISSF World Cup? This was the Mexico City. Fine. Moving to question number nine. Recently, which country hosted high-level international meetings on anti-doping in sport? This is the country India. India hosted two major international meetings on the global fight against doping in sports on 17th and 18th of September. These included the second formal meeting of COP9 Bureau and the third uh, fund approval committee meeting under UNESCO's International Convention Against Doping in Sport. So, as vice chairperson of the COP9 Bureau, India played a leading role in organizing these events with participation from dignitaries from different countries like Azerbaijan, France, Russia and more. Discussion, discussions focused on strengthening anti-doping measures and promoting the fair sports globally. So India has hosted high-level international meetings on anti-doping in sport. Fine. Talking about the UNESCO, when was UNESCO founded? It was founded in 1945 and the headquarters lie in Paris, France. 
When was the World Anti-Doping Agency? Means what I established? It was established in 1999. And if we talk about Azerbaijan country, what is the capital city? This is Baku. Okay. Now coming to last question. How many medals and medallions of excellence recently earned by India at the World Skills 2024 competition in Lyon, France? The correct answer here is D option 16. India performed impressively at the World Skills 2024 competition that took place in Lyon in the country of France, fine. And uh, overall Indian team has won uh, four bronze medals and 12 medallions of excellence showing its growing skills on the global stage. And bronze medals were earned by Ashwita Pulis who is from Telangana, Dhrumi Kumar Gandhi and Satyajit Balakrishnan who are from Gujarat. Then uh, Joytir Aditya Ravi Kumar who is from Delhi and Amresh Kumar Sahu who is from Odisha. So Ashwita Pulis also received the Best of Nation Award for her outstanding performance. India secured 12 medallions of excellence in various trade fine. So here correct answer is D option 16. Now if we talk about the renewable energy. Which country leads the world in installed wind power capacity? This is the country China. And what is the primary element which is used in photovoltaic solar cell? It is the silicon fine. So these are the most important current affairs and news from today. And now as usual we are moving to our revision session. And today our three topics are at first we will be talking about some important days and events. At second we will be seeing some sport related news and at third we will be seeing some science and technology related current affairs. So first of all let's come to important days and events where the first question is which day is celebrated as national panchayati raj day this day is observed every year on 24th of april what is the theme of world autism awareness day 2024 answer is empowering autistic voices annually this day is observed on 2nd of april department of pharmaceuticals ministry of chemicals and fertilizers recently launched the meditech stackathon 2024 at which place it was launched in new delhi what is the theme of Statistics Day 2024? Answer is use of data for decision making. And this day is celebrated every year on 29th of June. When is the National Voters Day observed every year? Answer here is 25th of January. Every year on which date International Day of Epidemic Preparedness is observed? This day is observed on 27th of December. And last is what is the theme for the Green Airports Recognition 2024? Correct answer is Biodiversity and Nature Based Solution. At second, we'll be seeing some sport related news. The first question is, recently which player secured the first global table tennis title at the WTT Feeder Corps Christie 2024? This player is Srijakula. Which country recently won the fourth Intercontinental Cup men's football tournament? Answer here is Syria country. Which city will host the 2026 Commonwealth game? The correct answer is Glasgow. Recently who has been appointed as the new head coach of junior men's hockey team? Answer is PR Srijesh. Shikhar Dhawan who recently announced his retirement is associated with which sport? Answer is cricket. How many medals did India win at the 2024 Briggs Games in Russia? This is 29. Then last is Swapnil Kusale recently won a bronze medal in which sports event at Paris Olympics 2024? Correct answer is shooting. Okay. And now at third let's see some science and technology related news. The first one is which organization recently witnessed the gigantic jets over the Himalayan mountain? This organization is NASA. What is the primary aim of UVIN portal recently seen in the news? Basic aim is to maintain an electronic registry of routine immunization. What is the cause of streptococcal toxic shock syndrome recently seen in the news? Answer is bacteria. Okay. Which organization has recently initiated a project to evaluate microplastic contamination in the food product? This is Food Safety and Standards Authority of India that is FSCI. Which institute recently approved a wireless network architecture for affordable broadband access in rural areas developed at IIT Bombay? This is Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineer. What is Kawasaki disease recently seen in the news? It is a rare heart disease. Which country launched the world's first thorium molten salt nuclear power station in Gobi Desert? This country is China. Fine. So with this, we have completed our session. And uh, now at last, I'd like to give you some homework. And the questions today would be related to summits and conferences, fine. So these are the seven questions that you have to read carefully and try to answer them in the comment section. I will be waiting for your answers. And now before uh, concluding the session, let me again remind you that these questions are part of our daily 20 MCQ series in GK Today Android application. So if you want the PDF of the lecture, you can subscribe to that course by paying a very nominal fees. Okay. So tomorrow is Sunday and now we'll be meeting again on Monday 
with some more important current affairs till then stay tuned thank you so much for watching and please do not forget to subscribe to gk today with this me nuzhat sana signing off